The arrest of a former U.S. ambassador accused of espionage is bringing back Cold War memories for many Americans. The FBI claims Victor Manuel Rocha, a retired State Department official, was also a spy for the Castro regime in Cuba starting in the 1980s. He has not entered pleas uh, to, this, to the charges. Manuel Borges has more on the undercover operation that exposed Rocha's alleged covert activities. This action exposes one of the highest reaching and longest lasting infiltrations of the U.S. government by a foreign agent. Attorney General Merrick Garland vowed he would utilize the full force of the Justice Department against Victor Manuel Rocha, a former ambassador to Bolivia and career government official. Between 1981 and 2002, Rocha was employed at the State Department and held a number of senior positions in the U.S. government. Federal prosecutors say after receiving a tip, an undercover FBI agent posed as a Cuban foreign agent and contacted Rocha on WhatsApp in November of last year. They say they met three times in this busy Miami neighborhood. During these meetings, Rocha allegedly claimed his involvement with Cuban intelligence went back almost 40 years. He boasted, what we have done, it's enormous, more than a grand slam, referred to the United States as the enemy, and said his number one priority was protecting the Castro regime. Prosecutors have not yet specified what information they believe Rocha shared. John Carlin is a former top national security prosecutor. So he had the ability to, to gain and then share information that would thwart U.S. agencies' ability to collect intelligence on Cuba on the one hand, but on the other hand, he also was one of the key officials charged with forming our policy positions on Cuba. For CBS Mornings, I'm Manuel Bojorquez in Miami.